we've really enjoyed sharing Winnie and Fiber with you guys, uh, and we'll continue to do so, including in our next video, what's going on here with the bonding process, how we move them closer together. But today, I want to take a few minutes and introduce you to our other two babies who we haven't really given any screen time to. With Waffles, this is more or less his permanent setup. We've got this cage here and a bin, which I'm gonna talk about the bins in a minute. And then Moss, he just has a bin for right now, but we're just about to buy him a cage as well. These guys are nocturnal, so you're not gonna see him too much just yet. But once I start rustling them about, they'll, uh, they'll wake up. Waffles, our first hamster, is a dwarf hamster, so he's about that big. He's not too big, but he's quite a bit bigger than Moss, who I'll show you in a few minutes. Um, one of the really sad things about hamsters and pet stores and stuff is that they always sell these kind of cages, which they do have their purpose, but these cages are designed more um, to be exciting for children than they really are to fit hamsters. And hamsters need a lot of space to move around. And unfortunately, this is just way, way, way too low of a space for a hamster. And so a really cost-effective method of um, expanding their space is to use these bins. So all I've done is just Drilled a hole in here, attached his tube, so he gets all the benefits of the cage and the tube and his little spot up here that he really likes. But then he gets all this extra space. In. Inside Waffle's normal pet store cage here, uh, we keep his food and his water, but he has his wheel here, which he really likes. Each of these guys will run about five miles a night, so they're really, really active. Um, without this wheel, it could be really unhealthy for them. And their second hamster, he's much newer to the family. We've had him for almost two months now, and he's about three months old. He's uh, he's a robo hamster, so they're really small. I mean, crazy small. Waffles always looked really, really small until we had him. Now that we have Moss, uh, when I see Waffles, he just seems so big. So Moss is actually more or less okay with this amount of space. Between the two types of hamsters, uh, the Robo Moss is much, much more active. I mean, you can always hear him making noises and you can see right in the middle of the day he's out. Um, Waffles is a lot more chill and he hides a lot more, but when he comes out, he's much more playful, like you can hold him a lot easier. Moss gets really, really skittish. All right, I think it's time that we uh, try to wake up Waffles too. So as you can see, Waffles is very social. As soon as I woke him up, he immediately comes here where we can see him. You can't give him too many treats, but he loves little Cheerios. Watch this guy.
And he's run away. So there's a quick introduction to our two guys. As you can see, Moss, always active. Waffles, unless it's nighttime, he likes to kind of stay to himself and hide. So hopefully we'll get a chance to show you more of them soon. <laughs> 